brawn, chrome, big V twin muscle. These are the first few things that come to our mind when we think Harley Davidson. And if this is why you aspire to own one, the 2017 Harley Davidson Street Rod is most definitely not the bike for you. This is meant to be different, blacked out, sleek, and dare I call it sporty. This is meant to break past the stereotype. I'm Varun Painter, you are watching Power Drift, and today I'm going to tell you the good and the bad of the Harley Davidson Street Rod. First up, we have the best, good, that's the engine. It is unlike any other Harley I have ever ridden before. A claim red line of 9000 RPM, which is more than the Street 750, which maxed out at 8000 RPM. More talk from this revised Revolution X engine. This is what fun on a Harley looks like. Now I know this isn't meant to chase 0 to 60, 0 to 100 numbers, but this makes for a tempting proposition. So, why not? This is as fast as the CBR 650 and the Ninja 650. Maybe a second slower, but remember that this is a naked motorcycle. So it has no aerodynamics going for it. The vibrations, they're negligible even in the higher RPMs. And the engine is sweet. And with that, I think we should move on to the second good element, which is the brake setup. As much as I love its acceleration, I love its ability to shed speed. I think it is phenomenal. The twin dish setup on the front sees you stop where you want to. Plus with the safety backing of ABS, I think it takes the right boxes. Now braking was a big gripe with the Street 750. But here on the Street Rod, I think it's very well taken care of. So it goes fast, stops harder, but things don't just stop there. Because that's my next point, that's the third point. The street rod loves the twisty. With a shorter rake, chunky 43mm inverted forks, the dragster-like handlebar and some great cornering clearance, the writing is on the wall. We are talking 40 degree leans on a Harley, even the ground clearance for that matter. 205 millimeters allow you to conquer speed breakers like a boss. With this kind of clearance, I won't blame you if you want to take this off-road. But that would be stretching it thin. Because remember, I said sporty. That's how the suspension is set up too. It is set to complement the agility of the rod and not to devour the rough bits. Which brings me to the first bag. Well, not exactly a bad, but the stiff ride quality is not what one would enjoy on long Indian road conditions. And that's compounded by the sporty riding posture, which is as committed as they come on a Harley. The pegs are placed high and almost feel like rear sets. The flat bar has you leaning forward, a stance suited best for the short blast the 30 meter tank will allow. You will need to hang on to the bars and fight the wind pushing you back at anything over 120 kmph, especially if you're as tall as me. But highways is not where we ride all the time. So expect things to heat up quickly. Especially when you're riding in such conditions, bumper to bumper traffic. And that is where I'm going to be talking about the heat dissipation. Now I know it's a liquid cooled engine, but thanks to the raised ground clearance and low saddle height, you're virtually sitting close to the second cylinder and its exhaust will ensure there is no escaping it on your under tights. Remember the exhilarating throttle response we loved on the highway? Well, it feels like operating a live wire here in the city. Even the smoothest rolling of your wrists will lunge you forward. Now, this can make things difficult, especially for new riders, when you find yourself surging ahead 
while searching for the foot pegs. But the city is also where you appreciate another good part, the street rod agility. It's the easiest Harley to turn amongst the easiest to squeeze in gaps, helps you move your way around traffic and you also don't mind the attention it helps you garner. It looks good and it makes you feel pretty good too. Well, the street rod then is quite a unique concoction. Now, the last time I reviewed a motorcycle and preferred to call it like a cutting chai, people loved it. And so, taking the same tradition forward, how would you summarize the street rod? Like this. It is a unique mocktail. Sweet, sour, tangy, and yet far from what one can call perfect. It's like a little niche in itself. In many ways, it reminds me of the Ducati Scrambler, an entry-level fun motorcycle aimed at roping the young to a cult brand. And you're in the street rods case, the Harley family. The street rod then makes for a better case than the Street 750 with its superior fit and finish, better componentry and engaging sportier performance. If you're looking at an upgrade from your Duke or a small sporty motorcycle that can complement your existing Harley, the street rod fits the bill. Hey bros, don't ask this to where the Sagar is. Please give me a chance to be better too bros. If you like it, then you like it. If you don't like it, then you PM me. And like always, if you like our content, consider subscribing by clicking right here. Right now. Subscribe. Bye-bye.